birds are singing and the clock chimes are ringing. I need you right here beside Hello and welcome back. Welcome to Sicily. That's where we are at the moment. We are in the northeastern part of the island in the national park of El Zinger, which is a beautiful coastal national park which we'll be visiting today. And this is a slow travel vlog because this is what we've been up to. Jake and I moved here about three weeks ago. We've actually only used one tank of gas the whole time. So we've been really good at balancing work and times outdoors and also visiting what is in direct proximity of our Airbnb. So yeah, without further ado, let's start this slow travel vlog. Soft and slow, I am your Right now we are in May and there is absolutely no one on this beach, which is totally amazing. And that is one of the perks of being able to slow travel off season. And I think that's something that I highly recommend because traveling in full season can be really unpleasant. One other thing is that the more you slow travel, the more you take the time to experience these places you might have not visited otherwise. So Jake and I had never heard of this park before actually coming here to our Airbnb in the middle of nowhere in San Vito Lo Capo. We had never heard of this park, discovered it online while we were here and decided to give it a go without even knowing what it looked like. So this was a pure gamble and this gamble turned out to be pretty freaking amazing. So that's one thing I recommend. Just go out of your comfort zone. Even if you haven't seen something on Instagram or in a guide, doesn't mean it's not worth visiting. All right, so just a little update on location. We entered through the north here, the north part of the reserve, and we walked all the way down to the second little cove. So we're not that far in. So this is Cala del Uso, and then there's a little um, cave back there that we're gonna go explore just in a minute after we go for a little swim before lunch. So this is Cala del Uso. You there, won't you? Come in closer, cause I, I want you near. Lean in, won't you? plastic pollution and I was reading specifically about these little rings that you have around the bottles that you can see here that can be really detrimental to wildlife because they choke on it especially birds so if you have a minute remember to cut these rings before discarding of them and you could actually be saving some of the wildlife out and there and the star of the show is this one this big piece of plastic right here ending up in this beautiful ocean be a stranger cause you are a friend to me These days get a little better with a little better Voila! Oh. <laughs> this one's mine Oh, why? Because I got hot salami on this one Oh, hot salami And pastrami on the other one Oh, okay, okay Zero waste lunch How is it? Mmm, boy, you're delicious. Delicious. So, we have just finished our little dip back at the beach that we can see here in the background. And I wanted to address price. So, the entry to the reserve is dependent on your nationality. Pretty sure if you're Italian, it's free. And if you're from anywhere else in the world, it's just five euros per person. So, we paid 10 total. And there's a bunch of facilities out there. There's toilets, there's places where you can refill your water bottles. So, this is a really well kept national park. The trails are also very clear and it's been really easy to walk around. So, that's that. Sitting in the backseat on a Saturday night, places racing past 
All right, so we just stopped at this little house um, and took a couple photos, had a little fun, had a little rest because, oh my God, there is a very steep part that we just came from right there. And the sun is already setting. It is 4.30 and we are in May, so the sun sets rather early. So we are actually gonna turn back. Um, the coastal walk is closed at the moment, so we had to go higher up the mountain. So we're gonna turn back and actually show you the first cove, which in my opinion is the most beautiful and that's why we kept it for last. So we've made it to the first little beach which is called Cala from the north. So it's actually we started here, we just didn't stop here. And this is what it looks like in the sun. Um, just sort of empty, there's about five people down there and it's absolutely cool. What is some advice you would give to people who want to slow travel? Uh, spend more time doing less things. <laughs> Perfect. That's the mentality. So thank you so much for checking out this video. Please do remember that it's really important that we take our time in these natural landscapes and we, when we visit places, the way we travel has an enormous impact on the planet. So, so slow traveling is really one of those key answers to limiting that impact. And that means just embracing going a bit slower and not having to see everything that's in the area and even coming back to a place for a second day. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for checking it out and I'll catch you in the next upload.